we're going to take a look at why the moon has phases and what the lunar cycle exactly is. Now in order to do that, you're going to need a light source. It can be a bright, strong flashlight, something like that. You're also gonna need a ball and you're gonna need a classroom full of kids. <laughs> so to demonstrate this to you inside my video studio here, we are gonna simulate children with these small wooden people, okay? So here's what you need to do. The person that's gonna be the sun, you're gonna hand them the flashlight and they're going to shine it above the heads of the students. So you want all the students in a pile sitting on the floor, otherwise um, you'll blind them with the flashlight, okay? So you wanna shine it above their heads, okay? So the sun should be standing. The people in the middle of the room are going to represent people on the earth, okay? So they're gonna be sitting, they're gonna be on the earth, okay? So these are our earthbound kids. And the ball is gonna be our moon, and the moon is going to be rotating around the earth, okay? Just like, it's gonna be orbiting around the earth. And the sun is going to be staying still, okay? So I have my earth here, my sun here, and here's my moon. Now you definitely wanna turn down the lights when you do this experiment, okay? So how much of the moon is the sun lighting up, okay? This would be the full half of the moon, so this would be a full moon that the Earth kids are seeing. Okay? Now leave the sun where it is and put the moon between the sun and the people. Now you're on the other side. You can still see that the moon is lit up, right? Half the ball is always lit up, just we can't always see the entire half because of where we're located. Okay, half the ball is lit up here. This would be a first quarter moon. If it was dark, you would see a, a half patch right there. We could see part of it, but we couldn't see the part over here. How about over here, when it's a full moon? Yeah, this whole part is lit up and we can see all of it. It's in direct view. This would be our third quarter moon. Okay, and this is our new moon. A moon that's waxing is getting larger. Moon that's waning is starting to get smaller. Okay, in the sky. So we have our new moon. This is our waxing crescent, our first quarter, our waxing gibbous, and our full moon. Okay, and then the opposite is true on the other side. So this would be our waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent, and our new moon. So there are eight phases to the moon. Go ahead and give that a try in a nice dark room with a nice bright light, the biggest one you can find. Now you may be wondering, well, if that's true, how come we don't have eclipses every single month? You know, if the moon is always coming between the sun and the earth, then we should see eclipses every month, right? Or every four week cycle. Well, the truth is, is that the moon's orbit is tilted up just a little bit. And so um, it's not in the same plane as the um, Earth-Sun orbit, the Earth orbit around the sun. So it's tilted up a little bit. If it was at the in the same plane, then yeah, we would have eclipses every month. And they wouldn't nearly be quite as special as they are. Mm -hmm.